Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blog. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can work with frame scale in VSCC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to work with frame scale in VSCC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, normally when we edit our videos in VSCC, we make use of the time scale. So, this is the time scale present right here. We have the scale present and on top of that we have time written. So this is one second, this is two second, this is three second and so on and so forth. Alternatively, we can also make use of the frame scale. So what you need to do is you need to simply click on this particular option which says show time or frame scale. Now the moment you click on this option, your time scale will get switched with frame scale. And so now if you look carefully on top of the scale, we have frames written. Now, time and frame, they both go hand in hand with each other. So, what I mean by that is, when I created this project, I set the frame rate of this project at 30 frames per second. So, I set the frame rate of this project at 30 frames per second, which means each second consists of 30 frames. So, going by this logic, if I place my cursor at 30 frames, what it means is I have placed my cursor at 1 second. If I place my cursor at 60 frames, what it means is I have placed my cursor at 2 seconds. And this is because the frame rate of my project is 30 frames per second. So, at 30 frames, my cursor is at 1 second. At 60 frames, my cursor is at 2 seconds and so on and so forth. If you want to check, you can simply click on this option once again and this will bring back the time scale. And as you can see, my cursor is placed at 2 seconds. So, as I said before, time and frame, they both go hand in hand with each other. Now, apart from this, there are a couple of other options related to the frame scale. So, the first one is this one. You can move your cursor to the next frame by clicking on this option. Second one is this one. You can move your cursor to the previous frame by clicking on this option. The third option is this one. You can move your cursor to the next second by clicking on this option. The fourth option is this one. You can move your cursor to previous second by clicking on this option. The fifth option is this one. You can move your cursor to next keyframe by clicking on this option. And the sixth and final option is this one. You can move your cursor to previous keyframe by clicking on this option. So these were some of the options related to the frame scale. And this is how you can work with frame scale in VSCC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.